pushing back against PC animal culture and censorship. Also, theater shadowing. Anyone can be anything! They hammer the theme of this movie down pretty hard, but this is our first look at Judy's idealism as a child that she carries with her. We gave up on our dreams and we settled. It's great to have dreams. Yeah, just as long as you don't believe in them too much. Soul-crushing advice. Kindly return my friend's ticket. Standing up for your friends. A killer instinct still in our dinner. Phonetic win. He was right about one thing. I don't know when to quit. That's what makes her the captain. A failure montage is the fastest way to get motivated into a success montage, which is the fastest way to becoming a bunny cop. J.K. Simmons is always a win, especially as king of the jungle. Topia. It's a real proud day for us little guys. John Ralphio's sister Mona Lisa voicing the sheep assistant should have been a dead giveaway to her true nature. Bunny hugging. The different climates within the city are such a great idea. You want a bunch of different species to live in one place? Gotta accommodate them all. I get why Disney would want to make another hit song after Frozen, and I wouldn't say I'm a Shakira fan, but this song rocks. The kid in me can't help but bob my head and grin like an idiot while watching the elation on Judy's little bunny face. Showing the dangers of device addiction. Greasy walls. Rickety bed. Crazy neighbors. I love it! Optimism. You don't often get the chance to see a rabbit next to a rhino or in the same room as an elephant. They really nailed the uneasy feeling you'd have because of the size and mass difference. All right, everybody sit. I can't say what it is, but Idris Elba always seems like a villain to me. It could have been his stint on The Office, but it makes him a great red herring. I say this a lot, but technically this is the inverse. If Jennifer Goodwin were an animal, she'd be a bunny. Like, I picture her as a bunny even when she's a human. Putting those ice wall skills to use. Judy manages to make this awful, terrible, day-ruining task seem righteous and enjoyable. Accountability. It's rare that I find someone so non-patronizing. <laughs> what a Michael Bluth response. Capitalism. I mean, seriously. Had he paid for the Jumbo Pop, there would be nothing wrong with what they're doing. It's not like it doesn't include some actual work. I guess it also depends on your perspective on income tax. And I'm not the liar. He is. That's some born level ghosting. Carrot iPhone. That was 30 seconds over! I love how just a slight perspective shift turns this job back into reality. <laughs> this is amazing. Tiny little rodent cars and rodent buildings? It, wait, is rodent racist? Feels racist. Oh. Saving Snooky. I love your hair. Compliments. Those are a crocus varietal called Midnicampum holocythius. They're a class C botanical, sir. Plant husbandry lessons. My husband. My husband has been missing for 10 days. His name is Emmett Otterton. She should just be happy there ain't no hole in the wash tub. And I'm sure she'll find him when the river meets the sea. Too obscure? Cinema wins, where the jokes come with homework. Oh, for sure, we're a naturalist club. <laughs> Another hilarious anthropomorphic gag. Filming the naked animals as gratuitously as possible with none of the NSFW content. The third cylinder wasn't firing. Remember that, Nongi? Nope. This is the first of many stereotype flips to mess with our preconceptions. Elephants sometimes forget, and burnt out Chongs sometimes remember everything. But then they flip the script again and have sloths play right into the stereotype. Does seeing me fail somehow make you feel better about your own sad, miserable life? It does, 100%. Honesty. You don't need a warrant if you have probable cause, and I'm pretty sure I saw a shifty lowlife climbing the fence. Good thing she's a Vulcan who embraces technicality. Cinema wins, where the homework sometimes includes my other videos. Fun fact, the Arctic Shrew was a deliberate choice by Rich Moore for the Godfather animal. Arctic Shrews are one of the most ferocious animals alive. They have to consume three times their body weight every day, and they'll eat other shrews to achieve it. I love your dress. Even more compliments. Minor detail here, but a doorknob in a jungle filled with clawed animals would definitely have scratches all over it like that. Another animation win. I'm gonna let go! No, you what? <laughs> Saving your friend. I, Nicholas Wilde, promise to be brave. All right, young Nick is definitely the Rugrat twins, right? Which means she's also Cubert, which makes young Nick a win. Smell weather! I obviously don't condone Bellwether's actions, but you can't say she didn't have her reasons. Gary, quit it. You're gonna start a howl. I didn't start it. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> What a bunch of hilarious idiots. I love that the hollowing is an uncontrollable compulsion. All of the missing mammals. What about the missing reptiles? Ooh, are they saving that for a Pixar Disney Good Dino Zootopia crossover? Speaking of which, Disney animation people must have snuck down the hall to Pixar and stolen their water animation because it's almost as photorealistic. A fox and aviators is a freaking win. That's why we need good cops like you. Finally, some recognition. I'll be darned. Hey, Judy, I, I'd just like to say I'm sorry. I don't know about anybody else, but this is exactly how running into old friends from my youth is for me. Just full of awkwardness and apologies. My family, I would just call them night howlers. 
Leave it to old French fried potatoes to crack the case. Again, that foliage on the side of the road has to be live action. Aviators and now wayfarers? Nick must have a Ray-Ban endorsement. I was ignorant, irresponsible, and small-minded. Admitting when you're wrong. Are you just trying to steal the pen? Trick hugging. Honesty in advertising. What were you going to do with those night howlers, Weaselton? It's Weaselton. Duke Weaselton. You've got to be kidding me. This is twice now. And I've been staring at the IMDb page for two days. Alan Tudyk tricked me again, which makes this Frozen reference all the more relevant. You win, Tudyk. You win. I love how Judy uses her ears to express her emotions. Giving the same extra two parts in one movie. Something tells me a single fly wouldn't shut down production for the day in this cook lab. We got Doug here. Another fun fact while we're talking about voice actors, Doug the chemist slash assassin and Larry the Timberwolf are both voiced by one of the directors, Rich Moore. Rhino Train? Also, this is some serious action for a movie about a fluff butt. This brief little prey versus predator exhibit is almost as intriguing to me as the premise of this movie. I demand a prequel about the revolution. Actually, just give me saber tooth tigers versus bunnies. Ooh, saber tooth bunnies. Prey fears predator and you stay in power? And I'll dart every predator in Zootopia to keep it that way. This is now the second time Judy has hustled the monologue out of a foe. Sly as a fox, that one. Blood, blood, blood. back. That's hopefully enough to soothe the sobbing and forever scarred kiddos. Hop save the jug band. You with me now? Real life is messy. And apparently so is Judy. Messy, that is. Fly bunny. Dumb fox. Really just nail it at home, aren't you, Disney? But I'm good with it. It's a kid's movie, after all. Nick. Honestly, that whole overwrought sloth DMV scene is totally worth it for this payoff. Doi. You gotta know that J.K. Simmons would be ignoring the pop music and just sitting there talking. And you know what? Shakira's getting another win for this song. Why? Because deep down, I'm just a cute little purple-eyed bunny trying to change the world. And I'm clearly not as cool as a Jason Bateman fox. If this movie is pandering to my inner child, I'm alright with that. From the time Judy enters the city with Shakira's song in her ears, I can't help but feel the awe and delight of her new beginnings. Zootopia is a beautifully imagined and well-planned world. Every district is well-crafted and detailed and has its own distinct feel. The rainforest is dreary and you feel as saturated after watching it as you do dry and sunburnt from the desert. It doesn't get much cuter than a little rodentia and you can start to feel your extremities numbing in Tundra Town. I can't wait to see what they do with the other districts in the future. The buddy cop crime-solving story at the center of this movie is what really pulls it along and makes it work. But it's not too often I get to praise every aspect of a film as is the case with this one. The voice acting from Bateman and Goodwin is top, top, top-notch. Everyone was great though especially Idris Elba and Jenny Slate. She's another voice actor who found her spirit animal, I think. And you know how I feel about J.K. Simmons. But they all deliver some of the funniest dialogue to ever come out of animals' mouths. I had to cut a bunch of me just laughing at this movie. For instance... Let it go. <laughs> Frozen. Mommy said she wishes you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shrew wedding. I doubt anyone missed the gender, race, and general stereotyping symbolism, but nonetheless, it's a solid message that parallels human society pretty interestingly. Zootopia, the melting pot of the world, where all cultures live together in harmony. Where anyone can be anything regardless of size and all race species are treated equally. Everyone moves there to achieve the Amer Zootopian dream. At least that's the party line of the animals, that they've evolved. Heck, they have tall buildings, organized government, and clothing to prove it. We're presented with a naive, idealistic, yet still well-rounded and reasonable character that puts herself in a position to be judged and asks the world not to unfairly profile her. There are hints throughout that she's not as progressive as she thinks. What I like about this film is that Judy recognized the flaw in herself she didn't realize was there. She scolds Clawhauser when he says, I gotta tell you, you are even cuter than I thought you'd be. But then goes out of her way to give Nick this backhanded compliment. A real articulate fella. That she actually thinks is not demeaning. She'd be the same type of person talking about the number of predator friends she has and how she watches Shark Week. But she comes a long way and through a little introspection gains some perspective. Some have said that the racial allegory was muddled by the predator-prey, black-white comparison and that prey should be scared of predators because they eat them. While I understand the issue, I think that's the entire point. To question even those labels you believe to be unequivocally correct. The night howlers turning out to have the same effect on animals with no history of savagery like rabbits is evidence of that. I also think they purposefully muddled the allegory so there aren't really any perfect one-to-one -one comparisons. When you consider that Hops is hired through the Mammal Inclusion Initiative, Zootopia's version of affirmative action, she's not a predator. Also, non-predatory animals constantly do predatory things in this movie, like with young Nick. Not to mention that in a Machiavellian twist, the main antagonist ends up being a sheep. In sheep's clothing, where the prey becomes the predator to gain power and control while still believing she's doing what's best for the little guys. Which is a fun way of challenging the idea of those stereotypes. 
Or it's a fun movie about a fox and a bunny becoming friends while sleuthing. Both work for me. Disney has really been hitting it out of the park lately. And is this a hint of a crossover? I'll tell you what, what is the common denominator in both these huge successes? No, not the pop song. Yup, you guessed it, Alan Tudyk. So I'll be expecting Zoo for Zempia starring Alan Tudyk as every voice next year. You know you can safely throw in a robot, a tech icon, a sloth, a hooded superhero, a saber-toothed tiger, a duke, a king, and now a droid. Seriously, Alan, shut up and take my money. They offered me what I couldn't refuse, money. Thank you.